Part 1. Discover the eight secrets to a fulfilling life in your 70s and beyond. Are you in your 70s or 80s and wondering if you're on the path to a healthy, independent, and fulfilling life? Many people dream of living to a ripe old age, but the reality is often different. How many people do you know who've made it to 70 only to find themselves dependent on others for their most basic needs? It's a heartbreaking reality and one we all wish to avoid. The period between 70 and 75 is often a critical turning point. Survive these years with your health and independence intact and your chances of living to 80 and beyond increase dramatically. Imagine being one of those rare, extraordinary individuals who not only reaches 80, but does so with vitality, confidence, and gratitude. It's not about luck. It's about making small but powerful choices in your everyday life. Today, we'll share eight key aspects of a life well-lived in your golden years. These are practical, achievable habits that can help you remain self-sufficient, active, and engaged. Imagine staying physically fit, financially secure, mentally sharp, and emotionally connected. These secrets can transform how you experience aging and even add years to your life. If you want to know if you're on the right track or if you're curious about how to stay in control of your own life, read on. These insights could make all the difference. 1. Your body is still in good shape and you can take care of your own daily needs. Health is the greatest blessing for the elderly. Eating a bowl of vegetables yourself is better than having a caregiver feed you for $10,000 a month. Good health means not only a comfortable life for yourself, but also not being a burden to your children. No one wants to be a burden to their children, so taking care of your health is essential. With good health, you can cook, shop, do housework, and even help your children with something. Staying active gives you a sense of purpose. The best way to maintain health is not eating fancy foods or going to luxurious retreats, but maintaining a good mood. When you are in a good mood, your whole demeanor improves. As you age, it's even more important to care for your body. With age, physical fitness declines, and maintaining good health requires daily exercise and, importantly, a good mood. A good mood is the best medicine. Look at things positively. Get angry less, as anger harms the body. Living happily every day lightens the heart, reducing stress and worries, leading to better health. With good health, you can do anything. Poor health burdens your children and spouse. If your children don't understand, they might neglect you, making old age very lonely. Nowadays, many elderly people have exciting retired lives, dancing in parks, hiking, and traveling with friends or staying home practicing calligraphy, reading, and gardening. The best way to maintain health is to stay happy, eat well, sleep well, and rest well. This improves your physical fitness over time. Your body is fundamental and needs your care. Maintain a good mood, be open-minded, avoid anger, and exercise regularly to keep your body in good shape. Dopt 2. Your mind is still sharp and you can see through people's tricks. There are many elderly people who are quite muddle-headed, a little carelessness, and they are tricked into buying financial products or health supplements. These expenses can empty their savings. What's worse is after being scammed, the elderly might not realize it and could do things that harm their family. After 70, you can pretend to be confused, but don't really be confused. Be clear about everything around you. Many unscrupulous businesses use free gifts as bait, offering emotional care, regular gatherings, and gratitude events to get information about your health, income, and trust. They then push various health products on you. Avoid so-called expert consultations, free health checkups, free lectures, organized tours, and marketing events outside of official business places. This prevents scams and also rejects superstitions. Nose 3. Your finances are still adequate and you don't need to ask your children for money. It's not scary to have money you can't spend, but it's scary to be alive without money. Although the elderly can ask their children for support, if they have to give money year after year, they might get annoyed, especially if they are in debt or unemployed. If the elderly have a pension and some savings they can manage, they won't trouble their children much. Having your own house is even better. You don't have to look at your children's faces or live under someone else's roof. You might still have decades ahead, so don't think spending money is a small matter. 
support yourself with occasional help from your children so money doesn't become a source of conflict and there is no financial burden. 4. You can still communicate without major conflicts with your children. Many elderly people are disliked when they speak because they talk about the old days or outdated things which seem out of touch and futile. Old age brings fear and stubbornness in conversations. Elderly people who can communicate smoothly are adaptable and empathetic. Think about why your grandchildren should treat you well. As the saying goes, all value in this world is temporary. You need to provide stable emotional value to earn trust and independence. When the elderly can provide emotional support, offering strength in times of distress, instead of nagging and complaining, things improve significantly. 5. Your spouse is still around, and it's your original partner. A lady named Lan said, I'm over 70, still riding an electric scooter to take the kids to school, buying groceries, cooking, doing laundry and cleaning, and then cooking for my spouse. My spouse enjoys life while I work hard. Is it tiring? Is it worth it? Clearly, there's a sense of pride in her tone. Having a spouse means having support. Maybe the spouse can't help much, but their presence is valuable. Compared to original couples, late-life couples lack deep emotional bonds, which might never be fully compensated. Late-life couples are together mostly for convenience. As the saying goes, husband and wife are birds of the same forest. When disaster strikes, they fly apart. Even original couples can be swayed by benefits, let alone those who are together for practical reasons. Late-life couples have already experienced the hardships of love, and what they need most is stability. 6. You are still diligent in learning and can navigate outside smoothly. Reading makes people progress. This is an unchanging truth. Many elderly people are lost outside, unable to read signs, not knowing how to use phones to check information or how to make payments. Elderly people don't need to study astronomy or geography, but learning social methods and travel tips is beneficial. Don't just use your phone for idle gossip. Instead, look at reputable sites, learn how to pay utility bills online. This makes life smoother. Notch to seven. You have hobbies and life is never boring. At 70, vigorous exercise might not be feasible. Even dancing in the park might not be suitable for some. Some elderly can't sit for long, so playing mahjong isn't advisable. Having good hobbies to enrich daily life is essential. Elderly people don't need to force themselves to like something. Chess, painting, singing, fishing, anything that suits them is a good hobby. Elderly people need to maintain a playful spirit. Many people feel lost after retirement, losing interest in everything, or becoming babysitters for their grandchildren, unwilling to spend time playing. 8. Your heart is still broad, and you don't bother comparing yourself with others. It's said that old age brings small temperaments, small perspectives, and small minds. Conversely, it means big tempers, being unreasonable, and being stubborn. If an elderly person can remain open-minded, it's very rare. In daily life, they can accept others' imperfections, not envying others' successes, not belittling their own children, not complaining about their income or worrying about the future. Living each day calmly, treating the present as the best day. In conclusion, it is essential for older adults to take immediate action to safeguard their physical and mental well-being. Maintaining independence and good health enables a life of dignity, reduces dependency on others, and creates a more fulfilling experience in old age. Staying mentally sharp and vigilant against financial pitfalls prevents unnecessary burdens on oneself and family. Financial stability is equally important as it offers security and freedom without placing undue pressure on children. Developing and nurturing positive relationships with family through open communication fosters a supportive environment. Having a spouse or close companion adds value and comfort, bringing emotional stability during challenging times. Continuing to learn and adapting to technology not only makes daily tasks easier, but also keeps the mind active. Cultivating personal hobbies enriches life, ensuring that boredom or loneliness is minimized. Keeping a positive outlook and avoiding comparisons with others can help one live each day with gratitude and peace. Embracing these principles immediately can lead to a healthier, happier, and more resilient life for years to come. Part 2 Eight Habits You Can Avoid for a Fulfilling Life Have you ever wondered why some people seem to age with grace, remaining vibrant and connected, 
while others struggle with isolation and frustration? The truth is, it's not just about genetics or luck. It's about the choices we make every day. In this insightful guide, we'll explore nine common habits that can quietly undermine your path to a joyful, dignified aging experience. Are you ready to discover what they are and how to avoid them? Let's unlock the secrets to living your later years with wisdom, confidence, and purpose. Aging is a journey we all must take, but how we navigate that journey defines the quality of our experience. As we step into our later years, many of us begin to reflect on what truly matters, our relationships, our legacies, and the wisdom we've gained along the way. However, this stage of life also presents unique challenges that can impact how we're perceived by others and, more importantly, how we perceive ourselves. It's easy to fall into habits that over time may rob us of the dignity and respect we deserve. While physical aging is inevitable, how we carry ourselves and interact with others is within our control. We can choose to age gracefully, nurturing our relationships and cultivating a sense of self-worth that transcends the passing years. The key lies in avoiding behaviors that isolate us or diminish our ability to connect with the world around us. In this expanded guide, we'll explore nine key behaviors that can hinder our path to graceful aging and offer insights into how to avoid them. Each point will provide deeper reflections on how to foster a more mindful, dignified approach to life as we age. If you find these stories inspiring and they motivate you to take action, please comment 9. If not, comment 0. Your feedback means a lot to us. Thank you for your valuable time. 1. Monopolizing Conversations As we age, we naturally accumulate stories, memories of our youth, lessons from our careers, moments with our families, it's easy to feel that these stories hold more weight because they're backed by decades of experience. However, one of the most common mistakes we make as we grow older is dominating conversations, sometimes without even realizing it. The desire to share our experiences can lead us to monopolize discussions, leaving little room for others to speak. This behavior can alienate friends, family, and even casual acquaintances. Younger people, in particular, may feel that their voices are being overshadowed by older individuals who seem more interested in speaking than in listening. Moreover, constantly steering conversations toward our own experiences can come across as self-centered, even if that's not our intention. Expanding perspective. Consider a social gathering where a group of friends or family members is discussing a recent event. You may have insights from a similar experience decades ago, and the temptation to share can be strong. However, before jumping in, take a moment to reflect on whether your input will enhance the conversation or simply shift the focus back to yourself. There's value in allowing others, especially younger generations, to share their perspectives without feeling overshadowed. Moreover, actively listening, truly engaging with what others are saying, shows respect and fosters deeper connections. By giving others the space to speak, you not only enrich the conversation, but also create an environment where they feel valued. Listening is a form of generosity, and it's often more impactful than the stories we tell. Practical approach. If you find yourself dominating conversations, consider setting a mental limit on how much you contribute. For example, after sharing one story, make a conscious effort to ask others about their thoughts or experiences. Phrases like, what do you think? Or, I'd love to hear your perspective. Invite others into the conversation and show that you value their input. Deeper takeaway, cultivating a reputation as someone who listens more than they speak is a hallmark of wisdom. The ability to step back, observe, and listen deeply to others is often more powerful than sharing your own story. It signals humility, patience, and a genuine interest in those around you. As you age, aim to become a conversationalist who enriches dialogue not by dominating it, but by thoughtfully contributing and listening. 2. Excessive bragging. We all want to be proud of our achievements, our families, and our successes. But as we age, there's a fine line between sharing our pride and coming across as boastful. Unfortunately, many older adults fall into the habit of excessive bragging, whether it's about personal accomplishments, wealth, or most commonly, their children or grandchildren. Boasting, particularly when it's done frequently, can push people away, 
it can make us seem self-absorbed and disconnected from the realities of others. This is especially true when we boast about things that others might struggle with, such as family, health, or financial success. What we see as a source of pride might be a source of pain or insecurity for someone else. Expanding Perspective Imagine sitting with a friend who's had a difficult life. Perhaps they face financial hardships or their children are struggling. In this context, constantly bringing up your own children's successes or your financial stability can unintentionally create distance. While you may not mean any harm, it can make your friend feel inadequate or resentful. This doesn't mean you should hide your pride, but it does mean being mindful of how and when you share. Boasting can also reflect deeper insecurities. The need to constantly seek validation from others may indicate that we're not as confident in our achievements as we appear. People who are truly secure in their accomplishments don't feel the need to bring them up in every conversation. They allow their lives to speak for themselves. Practical approach. Instead of focusing on what you've achieved, try shifting the focus to what you've learned. Share stories that highlight lessons rather than successes. For example, instead of saying, my children are so successful, you might say, I've learned so much about patience and support through my journey as a parent. This not only conveys humility, but also invites others to reflect on their own experiences. Deeper takeaway. The most admirable people are often those who don't need to boast. Their accomplishments are evident in how they carry themselves, how they treat others, and the quiet confidence they exude. As we age, focusing less on external achievements and more on internal growth can help us build stronger, more meaningful connections. Three, judging people based on first impressions. One of the more subtle pitfalls of aging is the tendency to become set in our ways. This includes how we judge others. With decades of life experience behind us, it's easy to feel that we've seen it all and can quickly assess people based on first impressions. However, this kind of snap judgment can close us off to meaningful relationships and limit our understanding of the people around us. As we age, we may become more likely to judge others based on superficial traits, appearance, age, background, or even political views. While this might seem harmless, it can actually be a barrier to forming deep, lasting connections with people who could enrich our lives. Moreover, it perpetuates stereotypes and prejudices that prevent us from seeing people as they truly are. Expanding Perspective Think of a time when someone judged you unfairly. Perhaps they assumed something about you based on your appearance or misunderstood your intentions. How did that make you feel? Now consider that you might be doing the same to others, even unintentionally. Every person carries a unique story and first impressions often fail to capture the complexity of that story. Instead of relying on initial judgments, make a conscious effort to get to know people on a deeper level. Ask questions, listen without preconceived notions, and allow them the space to reveal who they truly are. This approach not only helps you form stronger relationships, but also challenges your own biases, leading to personal growth. Practical Approach The next time you meet someone new, try to reserve judgment. Instead of mentally categorizing them based on their appearance or what little you know about them, approach the interaction with curiosity. Ask open-ended questions like, what's been your biggest challenge this year? Or, what are you passionate about? These types of questions invite deeper conversations and allow you to see the person behind the first impression. Deeper takeaway, wisdom isn't just about knowing, it's about understanding. And true understanding comes from listening, observing, and withholding judgment. As we age, cultivating a mindset of openness rather than certainty can help us form more authentic connections with others and keep our minds sharp and receptive to new experiences. 4. Neglecting Personal Appearance There's a common sentiment among older adults that as we age, we no longer need to worry about our appearance. After all, inner beauty is what truly matters, right? While it's true that our character and kindness are far more important than superficial looks, neglecting our appearance altogether can have unintended consequences, not only in how others perceive us, but in how we feel about ourselves. Taking care of our appearance is not about clinging to youth, but about maintaining self-respect and dignity. When we stop caring about how we look, 
it can affect our self-esteem, leading to feelings of inadequacy or even depression. Moreover, how we present ourselves sends a message to the world about our mindset. A neat, well-groomed appearance suggests that we're engaged with life and still take pride in ourselves, while a neglected appearance may signal withdrawal or apathy. Expanding perspective. Think about how you feel after a fresh haircut or when you put on a nice outfit. There's a sense of renewal, a boost in confidence that comes from looking your best. Now imagine seeing a friend you haven't seen in years. They've stopped taking care of themselves. Their clothes are worn, their hair unkempt. What impression does that leave? It's important to remember that maintaining our appearance isn't about vanity. It's about preserving our sense of self and showing others that we still care about the life we're living. Even small efforts like wearing clean, well-fitting clothes or keeping up with basic grooming can make a significant difference in how we feel and how others respond to us. Practical approach. If you've fallen into the habit of neglecting your appearance, start with small changes. Perhaps it's time to revisit the barber or hair salon, or maybe you could invest in a few new pieces of clothing that make you feel good. Even a little self-care can go a long way in boosting your confidence and maintaining your dignity as you age. Deeper takeaway. Self-care is a reflection of self-respect. By taking care of your appearance, you're not just maintaining how others see you, you're nurturing your own sense of worth and pride. It's a simple but powerful way to remind yourself that you're still engaged with life, no matter how many years have passed. 5. Expecting respect without earning it There was a time when simply reaching a certain age automatically commanded respect. But times have changed, and respect is no longer something that's given purely based on seniority. Younger generations, in particular, are more independent in their thinking, and they often challenge traditional hierarchies of respect. As older adults, we might feel frustrated when we're not treated with the deference we feel we deserve. However, it's important to recognize that respect is earned, not demanded. If we expect younger people to respect us simply because we are older, we risk alienating them or coming across as out of touch. True respect comes from how we treat others, regardless of age. Expanding perspective. Imagine walking into a room and assuming that, because of your age, everyone will automatically defer to your opinions or decisions. When that doesn't happen, it's easy to feel slighted or disrespected. However, rather than expecting others to give us respect, we must first show them respect by listening to their perspectives, being open to new ideas, and demonstrating kindness and understanding. Respect is a two-way street. Just as we want younger people to respect our years of experience, we must also respect their insights, their independence, and their contributions to the world. By approaching others with humility and a willingness to learn, as well as teach, we create an atmosphere of mutual respect that benefits everyone. Practical approach. The next time you're interacting with someone younger, try to set aside any expectations of automatic respect. Instead, focus on building a relationship based on mutual understanding and kindness. Show interest in their experiences and perspectives and offer your own insights with humility rather than authority. Deeper takeaway. Respect is something we cultivate through our actions, not something we're entitled to simply because of our age. By treating others, regardless of their age, with the same respect we hope to receive, we create stronger, more meaningful relationships. And in doing so, we earn the kind of respect that lasts. 6. Holding on to grudges. As the years pass, it's easy to accumulate grievances, whether from family disputes, old friendships that ended poorly, or even misunderstandings that were never resolved. Holding on to these grudges can weigh us down emotionally, robbing us of the peace and joy we deserve in our later years. Yet many older adults find it difficult to let go of past hurts, believing that forgiveness means letting others off the hook. However, holding on to grudges only harms us. It keeps us stuck in the past, unable to move forward and enjoy the present. Forgiveness, on the other hand, is a gift we give ourselves. It allows us to release the emotional baggage that weighs us down and make room for new, positive experiences. Expanding Perspective Think of a grudge you've held for years. Perhaps it's with a family member, a friend, or even a colleague. How has holding on to that anger or resentment affected your life? 
Has it brought you peace or has it kept you from fully enjoying your relationships and experiences? Now, imagine what it would feel like to let go of that grudge, to forgive, not because the other person deserves it, but because you deserve peace. Forgiveness doesn't mean forgetting or excusing hurtful behavior. It means choosing to move on, to prioritize your own well-being over the need for retribution. Practical approach. If you're holding on to a grudge, take the time to reflect on whether it's serving you. Consider writing a letter to the person involved, not to send, but to express your feelings and begin the process of letting go. By acknowledging your pain and choosing forgiveness, you free yourself from the emotional burden that's been weighing you down. Deeper takeaway. Life is too short to carry the weight of past hurts. By choosing forgiveness, you're choosing to live with a lighter heart and a clearer mind. Letting go of grudges is one of the most powerful steps you can take toward emotional freedom and peace in your later years. 7. Resisting Change One of the challenges of aging is the tendency to become resistant to change. We've spent decades building routines, forming opinions, and establishing our way of life. As a result, we may find it difficult to adapt to new ideas, technologies, or ways of thinking. However, resisting change can isolate us from the world around us, preventing us from staying connected and engaged with life. Change is inevitable, and while it can be uncomfortable, it also brings new opportunities for growth and connection. Whether it's learning to use new technology, trying a new hobby, or embracing different perspectives, staying open to change helps us maintain a sense of relevance and vitality. Expanding Perspective Think about the changes you've resisted in recent years, whether it's learning to use a smartphone, adopting new habits, or adjusting to societal shifts. What's been the impact of that resistance? Has it kept you from staying connected to the people and things that matter most? Now, consider what it would be like to embrace those changes. Rather than seeing them as threats to your way of life, view them as opportunities for growth and learning. By staying open to change, you remain engaged with the world around you and continue to grow as a person, no matter your age. Practical approach. If you're struggling with change, start small. Choose one area of your life where you can be more adaptable, whether it's learning a new skill, trying a different routine, or opening yourself up to new ideas. By gradually embracing change, you'll find that it becomes less daunting and more rewarding. Deeper takeaway. Adaptability is key to aging gracefully. By staying open to change, you keep your mind sharp, your spirit flexible, and your connection strong. Embracing change isn't just about keeping up with the times. It's about remaining fully engaged with life, no matter what stage you're in. 8. Avoiding Emotional Vulnerability As we age, it's common to become more guarded with our emotions. We may have experienced loss, disappointment, or hurt over the years, and the instinct to protect ourselves by keeping our feelings inside can become stronger. However, avoiding emotional vulnerability can prevent us from forming deep, meaningful connections with others, especially as we get older. Being vulnerable isn't a sign of weakness. It's a sign of strength and emotional maturity. By opening ourselves up to others, we create the possibility for deeper connections, greater understanding, and stronger relationships. Vulnerability allows us to express our true selves rather than hiding behind walls of self-protection. Expanding perspective. Think about the relationships in your life that matter most. How have they been affected by your willingness or unwillingness to be emotionally open? Have you held back out of fear of being hurt only to find that the distance has grown wider as a result? Now, consider what it would feel like to allow yourself to be vulnerable with the people you trust to share your fears, your hopes, and your emotions without fear of judgment. Vulnerability fosters intimacy, trust, and deeper bonds, all of which are crucial for emotional well-being as we age. Practical Approach If you've been avoiding emotional vulnerability, start by sharing something small with someone you trust. It could be a fear, a regret, or a hope for the future. By taking this step, you'll begin to build the kind of emotional connections that bring meaning and fulfillment to your later years. Deeper takeaway. Emotional vulnerability is the key to deep, meaningful relationships. By allowing yourself to be open and honest with the people you care about, you create space for true connection and understanding, 
In doing so, you enrich your life in ways that go far beyond physical health or material success. In conclusion, the journey of aging is a natural part of life, but the way we approach it shapes our experience and the quality of our relationships. It is essential for older adults to recognize that aging gracefully is about the choices we make daily. Embracing active listening instead of dominating conversations can deepen connections and allow younger generations to feel valued. Practicing humility and avoiding excessive self-praise fosters respect from those around us. Maintaining personal appearance and grooming is not about vanity, but reflects self-respect and engagement with life. Letting go of past grudges and embracing forgiveness brings emotional freedom and peace. Openness to change, even in small ways, keeps us adaptable and connected to the world. Embracing vulnerability allows for genuine, fulfilling relationships that nourish our well-being. These habits not only preserve dignity, but also enrich our later years with purpose and joy. Aging with grace and wisdom is a choice, and the time to make it is now, for a life that remains vibrant, meaningful, and connected. If you find these stories inspiring and they motivate you to take action, please comment 9. If not, comment 0. Your feedback means a lot to us. Thank you for your valuable time.